MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Marshfield Community Media's coverage of MHS Athletics, supported by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial Services. I'm John Grabowski with Will Nicholson alongside me, providing all the pretty pictures from this evening, and Sean Leary back in the nice, dry and warm MCM HQ, making sure all this hopefully it goes according to plan, as we had some electrical issues prior to the getting this to air, and we may have some later on. So tonight, the Rams travel to Bridgewater Ram. Looking to get to 500 on the season, taking on the Trojan team, looking for their first win after 0-3 start. MIA recently released their power rankings of the season in the D2, and Marshall currently slots at number 7, with BR currently in the 11th spot. Rams last week got their first win with a 59 win at home against Mansfield. Open the Patriot League schedule next week at home on Saturday against Silver Lake. And for Butch Order, Lou Pacheco in his third year as head coach. And we'll get to more of a recap in a minute. Oh, everything whistle back. Last league, BR lost 31 21 to Barnstable. It's a bit of a rebuild year for the Trojans, losing a lot of key players due to the ISL market. Especially star running back Dawson Dubois, who last year ran for over 1,600 yards and 15 TDs. And here we go, we had a penalty. Kick is up. Joseph catches it on the far side, about to go to the return, gets to the sideline, gets past the 40. And he's going to go right into his teammates on the far side. So the offense will take the field for the Rams. Led by junior quarterback Tor Moss. This team, the offense is still starting to click a little bit. Still trying to find. Moss, direct snap, looking, looking, looking. Throws down the middle. Bricks bang back, caught. And he gets to the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown! It's a touchdown! First play of the game, Tormas, Friedberg's Magma, 6 0 Rams. So, as we just mentioned, Rams have been starting slow in the first half, and they decide to start as quick as possible right there. Kelly's going to take the kick for the Rams. So after Moss finds Bermeska for the long touchdown. High snap. Kick is up. And no good. So after one play in the first quarter, Rams six, Trojans nothing. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, 
McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Rams set to kick off. Two returners back for the Trojans. Kelly placing the ball on the tee. Rams in the white with green trim going from left to right across your screen. And the Trojans in the red red with looks like a little blue trim here. Going from right to left. Oh! Bento went to grab that line drive. Just went right through his hands out of the back of the end zone. And with that, the Trojans are going to start at their own 20-yard line. Trojans led by quarterback Declan Byrne with like the few, probably the only returning starter from last year's offense. Ace formation for the Trojans. Man in motion. Burn with the handoff up the middle to Ryan Catino, senior running back. It's going to make it a second and two. Eight yards on that run for Catino. Four receiver set for the Trojans. Man goes in motion. Direct snap to Byrne, handoff again. And that's gonna get snuffed out for a loss. Oh, nope, looks like they may have gotten a yard on that depending on the place. Make it, again about half a yard there we'll say. It's gonna be about a third and one. Third and one for the Trojans here. Ball spot at their own 29. This could be a big stop here for the Rams. Two receiver set. Handoff. And Catino's going to go nowhere. Actually going to lose a couple yards on that one. So big third down stop for Marshfield. Carroll back to return for Marshfield. Barry set to punt for the Trojans, sitting at his 15. And they faked it. Yeah, I don't think they got it. They're short. So it'll be a turnover downs. Rams are going to be in Trojan territory to start their second possession. Their second play of the game. Up 6 nothing here with 9.27 left to go here in the first quarter. It's a great job by the defense to start this one out. Oh, they're going to measure it. It's going to be Rams ball. Ball 
This will call us confirmed that it'll be a changeover on down. Marshall in first and ten. They just told me to do a preference for the final. So first and ten here for the Rams. Ball at the Trojan 29-yard line. Moss was true to his left. And off to Moss. Moss goes right to the pile. He might might fall forward for a yard. Ram, Rams hurry up here. Two receivers on the far side. Carroll goes in motion. Oh, Moss faked the jet. Pulls up the middle. And he'll get to about the 32. Moss not the fastest guy, but has size and strength for sure. And we have a flag on the play. We have a five yard penalty on the defense. They'll give the Rams a third and short. Make it well, a third and two. Moss. Oh, it's a couples. Couples for the first down. More. Couples gets to about the 15 yard line. First down, Marshfield. Rams moving the ball here. Couples in motion. Moss calls his own number again. Rumbles ahead. Takes a hit. The Rams hurrying up here. Moss getting more comfortable in this offense with the RPO. Moss looking to pass. Oh, what a throw. Moss to Bergmeska for their second connection of the night and gives the Rams a 12-0 lead with 7.59 here to go in the first quarter. That might have been the best touchdown pass so far in this early Ram season. Kelly's set to take the extra point kick. Oh, snaps fumbled. Kelly's got a scramble. And they just dive on it. The extra point is going to be no on that one. So, with 7.59 here in the first quarter. Rams jump out to an early 12 0 lead. To return is back for the Trojans, sitting at their own goal line. Kick is up. Turns up through the middle. And Catino's going to get up. Oh, extracurricular. Catino's going to get to about the 26 27 yard line. Ball will be spotted at the 27 here. First and ten. Burn under center, two men behind him in the backfield. 
Hand off the middle. Tino's going to find a hole and get past the 30. Tino takes it up. Line. He'll get to the 32. Make a second and five for the Trojans. Burn under center. Two men behind him in the backfield. Pitch out to the right. Catino. Oh. And there's a big hit by the Rams. I'll make it third and seven, loss of two on the play. Two receivers on the far side, two in the backfield. Burn under pressure. And that won't go. Burn was under pressure. Tried a little floater to Yabasi. And that's going to force the Trojans to, pro to punt. Mason Berry set the punt for the Trojans. Carol and Joseph back. Little snap. Kick is a, almost blocked. And Rams are going to let that bounce. And Rams will take over. Rams will start first and 10 from the 34 yard line. Their third offensive set. Pass two resulted in touchdowns. From Tormas to Reed Bermerska. Four receivers set for the Rams. Couples in motion, Moss, direct snap. Looking, looking, takes off, finds a hole, stutter steps. Oh, he dives ahead for the first down. Moss was looking to throw, saw a huge gap, and took advantage of it, moved the chains for the first down. Rams gonna be at their own 46. Moss, it's Crowley motion. The true, true bounces off a guy, spins, keeps going. Oh, the little man goes. He is a tough son of a gun. Davin True is not afraid of contact, folks. They're on a somewhat raw night here at Bridgewater Arena. We've been through worse. I get second and four. Carroll in motion. Moss drops back, looking, looking, has to go to his right. And the pass to Bermeska is incomplete. There's a flag on the play, too. Oh. A couple. Of flags on couple. It looks like it's going to be on BR. Number four. Charles Swenson did not look happy coming off the field. He looks really frustrated. So it looks like this will go in favor of the Rams. Let's see what. Special goes over, talks to Coach Pacheco after he talked to Coach Aruka. Yeah, and the Rams are going to get a lot of yardage here. That'll move the chains for another first down. Two 
two fouls. Holding on the offense. And like conduct. So the unsportsmanlike conduct call burns the Trojans. Could have put the Rams on their peels with a holding call, but that's canceled out and then some with the unsportsmanlike conduct. Crowley in motion. True bounces to the left side. And he's going to gain about, looks like about six or seven right there. Rams offense is clicking pretty well so far early in this game. 5.03 left to go here in the first quarter on Marshfield Community Media. Big thank you to our silver support sponsor, McNamara Financial. Couples on the jet up the middle. And he just might be sure of the first, depending on the angle here. They're sitting at about, sitting at about currently the BR 48. So it's, and the Rams in the hurry up here. Chains are moved, it was the first down. Moss looking down the sideline. Reska, oh, almost. Pass incomplete there. Credit to the cover, BR coverage on that one. Burn, the quarterback, also playing defensive. Playing D as well. I think it's second and 10. Ball spotted on the 37. Three receivers on. Trips on the near side for the Rams. Carroll in motion. Mospozel up the middle. Bermeska, oh! Meska should have had that one. Must put that on the mark. Now bring up third and ten. Struck snap Moss. On the outside to True, and True will get the first down. Moss having a really good game so far early in this one. And we get a BR timeout. 425 left to go here on a damp Friday night BR on Marshfield Community Media. We'll be back in just a moment. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Coming out of the timeout here, first and 10 for the Rams. Ball spotted at the BR 22. Moss with three receivers on the near side. Crowley on the far. Direct snap to True. He's in. And a flag on the play. So, let's see what happens here. Looks like this one's gonna go come back. Looks like a hold on the Rams. He 
Yeah, it's holding on the ramp, so the touchdown is negated. Holding in the end zone. Moss, Moss up the middle. No, nope, that was true, actually. Check that. Run up the middle by the quarterback. Make it second and ten. Ball spotted at. It's like about the 17 and a half yard line. True running up the middle. Breaks some tackles. He's going to get right to the goal line. That'll be a first down. New set of downs to the Rams right by the goal line. First and goal. Crowley in motion. Ostrich snap, true up the middle, touchdown. Touchdown Rams. Davin True. True through the middle, gives the Rams an 18 nothing lead here with 318 left to go in the first quarter. Officials having a conversation with line. <laughs> Kelly set to take the extra point. Snap is up. Kick is good. So Jab and True's one yard touchdown Gives the Rams a 19-0 lead with 3.18 left to go here in the first quarter on Marshfield Community Media. We'll be back for the kickoff in just a moment. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Two returns back for the Trojans. Rams get set to kick off here. Kelly's set to take it. Nice. Oh, goes right through his hands out the end zone. That will go for the touchback. Bento's had issues tonight. So far trying to handle kicks. Trojan having some issues with the wet ball. And Trojans break the huddle. Four receivers set. Burn with one man beside him in the backfield. Man goes in motion. Burn calls his own number. Sorry, gap that was closed pretty quickly by the Rams defense. I'll make it a second and nine. Nope, oh, make it second and eight. Good closing of the gap of the gap by the defense. They're way too, they're, they're way too, not even just 
Burn. Pass complete to Lee. Gain a couple there. Now put the Trojans at about a third in. So about a third and five. Their own 25 yard line. Big thank you to our silver sponsor for this 2023-2024 MHS sports season, McNamara Financial. And you can be like McNamara by becoming an MHS sports sponsor. Duran, direct snap. Rolls has to take off. Oh, and he's tackled. So big third down stop there by the Rams. That'll make it fourth down for BR. And it'll be forced to punt again. Carroll back to take the punt for the Rams. Goes back a little. He's going to sit at about his 45-yard line. The far hash, low snap. In trouble, has to rugby style kick it. Ball takes a funny spin. Carroll catches it. Gets to the 40, 35, keep going, 30, 20. He's going to go. Oh, no. Oh. Great those great run by Charlie Carroll, but those sneaky lines that jump out of the ground caught him at about the four-yard line. Carroll, great job making something out of nothing, almost a touchdown. Ugh. So they'll mark him at the six. But what a job by Charlie Carroll. One of the, one of the many sensational juniors on this Rams team. Carroll in motion. Moss up the middle. Oh, the big man has his third touchdown of the night. Two through the air, one through the ground. Put a 25 on the board. 101 left to go in the first quarter. Kick is up, splits the uprights. So, Toromasa's six yard TD run at the extra point. 26 0 here, 101 left to go in the first quarter. We'll be back in just a moment on Marshfield Community Media. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Line up, two receivers back for the Trojans. Let's see if they can try to handle a kick return. Big happy birthday shout out to the fantastic Laurel Egan Kenny. Laurel, happy 30th birthday. We do birth. Oh no! Somebody put some stick em on those gloves. Bento's going to be seeing kickoffs in his sleep tonight.
to receiver set, handoff up the middle. And they'll gain a couple. Looks like Katino with the run. <laughs> and the BR faithful demanding that they throw the ball, which understandable when you're down 26 nothing with about 30 seconds left to go here in the first quarter. It's a tough year for BR. Lost a lot of players due to ISLs. Burn under center. And off up the middle to Catino, and he's going to get the first down. Finally, a ray of sunshine here for the Chargers in the first quarter on a drizzly night here. The Chargers will get to the 32. And that's going to do it for the first quarter here. One quarter of play here on Marshfield Community Media. Rams 26, Trojans nothing. Big thank you to McNamara Financial for being our silver sponsor. We'll be back with second quarter action in a few moments. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. So we switch fields. Trojans feeling some mojo after their first first down. Pitch to the near side. Catino is going to. Might get one. He's going to gain, yeah. It's like about one. I'll make a second and eight. Ball spotted at their own 34 yard line on the near hash. Burn draws back, looking, looking, rolls to his right, almost picked off. Luke Leary almost with the pick. Third down, third I'll make it third and eight. So third and eight here for the Trojans. Ball at their own 34 yard line. Four receiver set, two on the far, two on the near. Oh, looks, there should be a flag there. There should be an offsides. Oh! So a lot going on right there. There was a fumble on the play. Probably should have been a flag for offsides. And they'll decline and the Rams will recover. Penalty was on BR, but of course that was declined. And it's going to be first and 10 Rams at the BR. Oh, 
They're both the 32. Brain is stopped a little bit here at BR, which is kind of nice for us here on top of the press box. Wearing raincoats and cameras with trash bags on them. If you want to know how we roll. All right, we have a timeout. Rams call a timeout. I think there was a little confusion. 11.05 here in the second quarter. Marshfield 26, Bridgewater Arena 0. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. All right, after the timeout here, first and 10 for the Rams in BR territory. Moss with three receivers on the near side. Pestle with true, right behind now, he gets right next to him. Couples, motion, shuffles. Moss, oh, pass to Carroll, 10-5, touchdown. <laughs> Charlie Carroll, redeem yourself. And he redeemed himself well with that touchdown catch. <laughs> Put a three and a two up for the Rams. Moss's third TD pass tonight is fourth over his fourth touchdown overall between those three in the run. up kick is good So total domination so far for the Rams here on the road at Bridgewater Arena. Still early in the second quarter. <laughs> Kelly's kick up in the air. And Bento caught it, he's gonna run it back. Good for you. Oh, that's to about the 30. <laughs> Let's see if Bridgewater Ram can get a spark on the offense here. Had a first down last time out. And then followed up by a fumble, unfortunately. Let's see what we have going on here. Have to change the scoreboard here because it looks like we had some fuzzy math. We went from, I think, 32 at one point which should have been 33, now we're down to 31. So I started looking, I'm going, what's going on here? 
Now we're up to 37. 35. 34. 33. Here we go. I say the, la the ramps have hit their Larry Bird number. We were wondering during the break, when does the running clock begin the way things are going? Because you could have potentially a... The Rams could put 40 on the first half for sure, the way this offense has been clicking tonight. Catino up the middle. Might get back to the line of scrimmage. No game on the tag, it'll be mm. second down, second and 10. Make it second and 10 at the 31 yard line. Brain has stopped here, luckily. Shout out to the Marshall Faith who made it out tonight. Burn on the run, he's in trouble. Pass is caught. By number six, Caleb Tripp. Tripp gets to about 36 yard line. I'll make it about about a third and five. Third and five for the Trojans. His formation for the Trojans. Man in motion. Burn looks to throw at the middle. Burns pass is incomplete. And is the offense going to stay on the field? Uh, let's see. Nope. Thought Coach Chico might keep the offense on the field for a brief moment the way it was looking. Carroll set to return for the Rams, sitting at his 35. See if he can work some. Oh, snaps, bounce for a rugby style kick again. Popped up, spinning. Carroll's just going to let that bounce. Oh, oh. He picked it up and he went for a couple of yards. Number 13, Carroll Carroll on the return. Looks like Carroll was just going to let it bounce, but then felt comfortable grabbing it and gained a couple. Nice work by Carroll tonight in the receiving game and in the return game. First and 10 at the Rams 26. Moss puts Crowley in motion. Hand off to True. True up the middle. True's going to gain a couple yards there. 9.30 left to go here in the second quarter. Watching on Marshfield Community Media on a Friday night. The Rams up 33-0 here on the road at Bridgewater Arena. Three series on the near side. One. The th oh! Oh, no! Flag on the play. Looks like it's going to be a false start penalty on the Rams. Delay a game on the offense. That's going to be a five-yard penalty for the Rams. Second down. I'll make it about a second and 12. Moss handoff to True. True bouncing spins. Oh. Stopped in the backfield. Bossy with the stop for the Trojans. Third down, for the defense. Third down here for the Rams. Deep their own territory. Crowley out wide on the far side. 
Moss looking downfield. Meska, jump ball, caught it! <laughs> what a catch by Mareska. Mareska with the hops, gets the first down, puts the Rams directly at midfield. Couples on the jet. Oh, he might have, might be no gain. No gain. Second and ten. Carroll goes in motion. True. Hand off to the left side. Might get a yard or two on that. Drew comes out, Jake Brilly checks in. Spread set for the Rams, three on the far side, two on the near. Out to Couples, out of his hand. The Rams gonna have to punt. Rams have forced the punt on this one. Didn't have the mojo going as much as they did. Minus the Bermesca ups ball to get the first down. BR return is sitting at its own 10. Snap is up, tied true has to get it away, takes a funky bounce. Not much going there. It'll die at the 32 yard line. So seven minutes exactly left to go here in the second quarter. Rams 33, Trojans nothing. You're watching on Marshfield Community Media. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Oh, looks like we have flag on the play. So you're gonna have to have a, <laughs> this is interesting. So, so we're gonna replay fourth down for running into the kicker. So this is going to be a, a fourth and two for the Rams. Carroll motion stops. Signal comes in from the sideline. Moss under pressure, throws up the middle. So a turnover on downs. Moss is feeling the heat on that one. Water rain first down from the 42. Stand hoodie, stand hoodie, stand hoodie. BR takes over their own 42. Burn Catino behind him. Pitch to Catino to the right side. 
Gets through, guys. Creates a tackle. And he'll... Looks like he did get the first down. So we move the chains here. And they get given the first down. So the Trojans get into Rams territory here. Catino up the middle. He'll gain about a pair. Oh, we got a flag on the play. Looks like it's gonna be on BR. You can see number two for the for the Trojans. And when King looking disappointed himself. Dude, the mic's hot. Lay a hit on the defense. This is strange. We <laughs> got some confusion here. All right, now, all right. I like that it was a, a penalty on BR. Then, then we hear the call of personal foul late hit on the defense. And now BR is moving backwards, so there's clearly a penalty on Bridgewater Arena. Oh, we got some some confusion here. What do we have going on here? All right. Personnel foul on the Trojans. That's what we thought. Play resumes. Pachetta Catino on the left side. He's going to bounce off a few tackles. He'll get to about his own 45. Make it second and about. Second and a mile, we'll call it. We get the second and 17 ball spotted at the BR 45. And it's getting a little messy and sloppy here on the field for the past few minutes. Five minutes here left to go in the first half. See if it goes in motion. Burn. Screen on the. Oh! Kelly with the tackle, and there's a flag on the play. This is. What do we have here? They might have called Thomas or Travis. 
They're going to call Kelly for the face mask. And some excited BR fans are below us. I'll make it fourth down. It was only a five yard. No, here we go. This is. Third down here for the Trojans. Third down, third and 14. Third down, 30-14. Ball spotted at their 47. Now that we have all that scored away. We've entered Bizarro world here at Bridgewater Arena. It's got to be the weather. Burn looking under pressure. Star steps. Oh, he, down he goes. Down he goes. That takes the air out of the balloon here. So BR is going to have to punt. Carroll stands at his 36. Oh! Joseph almost got a piece of that. Carroll gets it. Goes to the right. Oh, he'll get tackled. Quickly by number 35, Arlene Bossy. Rams first and 10. From their 38. You know, all the Bridgewater Rain, I'm sorry, Bridgewater Badgers and Rainham Giants report to wherever the rest of you guys are over in the corner. So first and ten for the Rams. Pass out to Couples. Might have gained a yard. No, oh, lost a yard, most likely. Now I'm actually make it. Yeah, second and ten, so no gain. Moss looks to the sidelines. Three receivers on the far side, Crawley on the near. True handoff up the middle. He'll get through the 40. Clock continues to run here with about 2.35 left to go here in the first half. Big thank you to our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial, for supporting our entire 2023-2024 sports coverage. And you can be like McNamara if you look at that QR code that's been going on the screen. Find out more about our fantastic sponsorship programs at Marshfield Community Media. Awesome. Finds true. I'll make it fourth down for the Rams. So, two quick three and outs after the wild first few possessions of the Toromas show. Moss involved in all the Ram, all four Rams touchdowns. Through through the air, one with his feet. Reed Bermeska with two TD receptions and Charlie Carroll with one. True's kick is up, takes a ball, oh, bounces over the returner's head. Joseph down there in a hurry. Mind drive, huh, 
Great special teams work by Gio Joseph to really push the Trojans back. One forty nine here left to go in the first half. Burn under center. Two men in the backfield. Hand off to Catino. Catino will get past the 20 yard line. Second and seven here for the Trojans. Ball at the 21. Wind picks up a little bit here at Bridgewater Arena. Burn our center. Handoff to Catino. Catino's going to get to the 25. Catino on the carry again. It'll be third down. Catino with a big carry. It'll be third and two. Make it about third and two here for the Trojans. Catino running hard all game. Credit to him. Go third and two. Rams couldn't use a stop right here. Hand off to Catino, breaks them through. He's going to get the first down and a couple more. Catino brings it out across the 30 yard line. That's our PR. Clock's going to run about 10 seconds here left to go. And it looks like both teams are just going to take it to the locker room. So the first half was all Tormas. Three touchdowns of the air, one with his feet. Rams up 33-0 at the half. Here on Laurel Egan Kenny's birthday on Marshfield Community Media. We'll be back with second half action in a few moments. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. Quarter action here, about to kick off here at Bridgewater Arena with the Rams up 33-0, the Larry Bird number. Wonder if we'll get some running clock here in the second half, depending on how things go. Two receivers back for the Trojans, sitting at about their four, three yard line. Kelly set to kick for the Rams. Kick is up. It's going to be returned. Out to the 20. Out the 20, 21 yard line. Pick up a turn taken by number 28, Ryan Catino. Catino, the all purpose man here tonight for the Trojans. He on first down, first and 10 from the 22. He'll be able to skip leg day tomorrow for sure. So ball's going to be at twenty-two. 
He originally on the scoreboard said 21, but I'm like, wait a minute, that's on the 22-yard line. So, Burn under center. Two men behind him in the backfield. Tino to the right side. He'll gain a couple. Tino on the carry. Looks like gain of one, maybe one. Second down, second and nine. Gain of one, so they'll call it second and nine here. Ball spot at the 23 yard line. Burn under center. Drops back, rolls to his right, pass is complete. Pass complete to Trump, and they'll get in for the first down. Chains are moved. You set it down here for the Trojans. Two receivers on the near side. And Ramsey gonna snuff that one out. Make it about second and nine here. Ball spot at the 35 yard line. Quick recap of the first half. Two Tormas to Reed Bermerska touchdowns. Plus a Tormas to Charlie Carroll touchdown. And then Tormas called the zone number. And that's how we got to 33 nothing here. Uh, make it third and nine here for the Trojans. Third and nine spotted at their own 35 yard line on the far hash mark. Trojans going from right to left across your screen. In the home reds. Rams going from left to right and the traveling white. Dark snap to burn. Looking drop back under pressure. Has to dump it off. Ooh, that's a crack block. And we have a flag on the play. It looks like this is going to go against BR. Rams might decline this. Looks like they do. So it'll be fourth down. Block in the back. Two returners back for the Rams, Joseph and Carroll. Stop by Jake Ekstrom. Rams will take over on downs in BR territory. I'm going to be at the BR 36.
Crowley goes in motion. And off to Moss. And off to True. True goes first down and a couple extra more. Carry by number six, True. Davin True with the first down run. First down Rams. Rams doing what they normally do after a successful play. Get to a quick offense. Hurry up. Couples on the jet to the right, trying to take the corner. Ugh. Might have lost a yard there. True stop behind the line. Stop for a loss. It'll be second down, second and 12. Moss calls his own number. Quarterback Moss holds on to it. Stop. Met first by number seven, Matt Nicholas. This guy making third about a third, third and. Third and oh, third and 11, third and 12, they're going to say. Kirk snapped to Moss, dropped back into pressure. Oh, he was under a lot of pressure right there. The defense. Back to first, number 35, Amin Abbasi. Bossy with the pressure, right? Moss is under some pressure a few times tonight. Looks like we're going to go for the field goal. Kelly's lining up. Bermeska to hold. Kick is up and Marshall no good. Field goal is no good. Change over on downs. First down. So BR will take over on downs. So, third quarter, 8.09 left to go here. Rams up 33-0 here on the road. Thanks for everyone watching here on Marshall Community Media on this not-so-fun Friday night here. We're standing on top of the lovely BR press box. Lots of leg room here, which is nice. Usually we're kind of sardinish in many of these high school press boxes. First we're on the roof of them. Children. Burn under center. First and ten. Calls his own number. Pushes through the pile. Again, a couple. Big thank you to our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial, for supporting our coverage this entire 23-24 MHS sports calendar, sports year, that is. If you want to be like McNamara and get some great exposure while being seen as a community benefactor, scan that QR code that you've seen on the screen from time to time, and you'll learn more about how you can help MCM produce great coverage of MHS athletics. Burn, handoff, middle. There is not much going on there. I'm kind of surprised that well, BR hasn't taken it to the air more, especially in the first half when they got down by 20 or so and then w went down 33. They're been kind of content to run the ball for the most part. Or, you know, some screen plays. Third and four. Burn under center. Catino behind him in the backfield. Burn calls a little number, tries to go around the end. Joseph, stop. 
Fifth on the carry. Big third down Gio tackle Gio. by Gio Joseph. The Rams defensive back. Shorts will punt, Carol and Joseph back. Rams have gone to a two return set up recently on punts. Nope. Healthy on the plug, and that's going to be a first down BR. We're going to show a little bit too many people on the field. So, too many men on the field. <laughs> and the Trojans, Mr. Magoo, themselves into a first down. Too many men on the field. 32 yard line. You can see Carroll kind of running off toward the end of that. Burner Center. Up to the outside. Trip. Trip gets to about the. Looks like they're going to mark him at about. Yep. About the 39 yard line. Make it second and three here for the Trojans. Burn under the gun. Oh, sorry. Check that. Burns out of the game and trips now in at quarterback. Hard to tell between the six and the nine up here. So Kale Tripp in. Not even listed on the on the roster as a quarterback. Trip a junior. Yep, Burns on the sidelines, so he might be done for the night. So third and one here. Ball slide at the 41. Trip pushes the pile, gains him. The first down and then some. The bulldozed almost to the 50. Trip gets him to the 49 yard line. So a little different look here for the Trojans. You have Trip, more of a mobile runner here. We're just gonna have to load the box for consider loading the box a little more here. And Kelly with the tackle. Kelly with the Kelly with the tackle for the loss. Really? They're going to give him a yard. Okay. Ball going to be directly spotted at the 50 yard line here. 3.05 left to go in the third quarter. Rams next week, homecoming game on Saturday against Silver Lake. Really great sports. Friday and Saturday next week with homecoming with boys and girls soccer on Friday, volleyball and football on Saturday. So 
Great homecoming setup for the Rams. Option out. Oh! Oh! Defense stops the pitch. It's down. Rams could have had a bigger loss right there. I'll make it third and 15, though. Looks like, looks like Burns coming in now. So on a Clear a passing play. Declan Byrne is back in for the Trojans. Good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Four receivers set, two on the far, two in the near. Tatino in the backfield with Byrne. Man goes in motion, low snap, it's kicked, it's ball! It's gonna be a Rams ball, Rams recovered it. Ball kicked around and McAlpine recovers for the Rams and they'll take over in BR territory here with 1.33 left to go in the third quarter. So Rams offense will take over in BR territory. Ball spotted at the 46 yard line. Rams pushing the pile. Looks like we got a few changes in there for the Rams. Carried by number three, Evan Williams. Stopped by the BR defense, second down. Jane Sylvan and quarterback for the Rams. And off up the middle. Williams on the carry. Evan Williams at the carry, up the middle. It's going to put the Rams in a third and short. Third down. Third and about three. Brilliant in motion. Silva up the middle, first down and more. Quarterback holds on to the ball. That's a first down, Marshfield. Rams move the ball under 30 seconds left to go in the third quarter. The chains are moved. Probably have seen the end of the night for Tomas and the rest of the Rams starters. We're gonna just let the clock run out here. Five, four, three, two, one. That's the end of the third quarter. After three quarters of play. play. Rams 33, Trojans nothing. Here on Marshfield Community Media, we'll be back in just a few moments. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com.
little power change and we're back here for the fourth quarter. So we had a fun experience earlier before the game starts. So generally, there's power supply on top of press boxes where we film. And we came up here and none of the power supplies were, power sources were working. And we just came with thinking we'd be able to plug in. So we had to run a really, borrow a really long extension cord from the really friendly BR staff here that's run all the way down the press box. And we've been swapping between our camera running on battery and our live view, which sends a live signal on battery, you know, via battery, switching their power supply. So one's getting a charge while the other one's using battery. So it's been a, made for an interesting pregame for sure. And we are in running clock mode now. Rams offense going to stay on the field here. Might as well. You're kind of in no man's land here. On the jet. And Trojans take over on downs. So we went to running clock here in the fourth quarter. Rams having a, a Notre Dame issue here with 10 defenders on the field. And we're going to get timeout. It's the Notre Dame. It's the Notre Dame. A lot of comments up here with the Rams and the Notre Dame defense. There are 10 men on the field. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. So clock runs here with 8.43 left to go in the game. Nice to have some running clock in the fourth quarter. Both teams, both teams in backup mode right now. Good experience for younger players. Pitch out to their side. Ball gets placed at the 32. Second and nine for the church. It's here. Ball swat the 36, third and two for the Trojans. Trip under center. 
Trip calls his own number, tries to push the pile, and he'll looks like he'll get it. Can you roster check? Everyone else heard it. No we are able to move the chains for a PR. So chains move for this one. Ball's gonna be spotted at the Trojan 39. 6.19 left to go here in the game. Watching our Marshall community. Thank you so much for watching our coverage of not just MHS football, but all the athletic teams here at Marshall High School. Trip under center. Kiala's his own number again. Gets to the outside. Going, going, going. Got one man, two men to beat. Panero, can he get to him? No. Tail of trip, touchdown. Trojans get on the board, 33-6. Tyler, can I blow your face? Hey, Tyler. <laughs> can I blow his brother out on TV? Trust been feisty since he's been at quarterback. Really wants to run. And then just took advantage of a situation and off to the races. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com. It's strange that there was they called the timeout after the touchdown here. It's kind of been a little bizarre world here tonight. Clock continue to run during the timeout. Kick is up. Kick is up. It's good, and they're celebrating. That's the point is good. That's the point is good by number 42, Drew Bowen. Bowen made the kick. So 33-7 here. Jack, what was the deal with that? That's the... Uh, Bowling, boot downfield. Kicks returned by the Rams down the, Davin True down the far sideline. Our 
First and 10 for the Rams at their own 45 yard line after the Daventure return. Troj is giving a lot of love to Bolin on the sideline. After a successful extra point, a solid kickoff. Oh, snap is high. Silva's going to jump on it. And it's going to be VR ball. High snap to Silva. Rams are just looking to jump out of this one right now with under a minute left to go here. Thank you so much for watching here on a cold Friday night here. It's going to be a not so nice weekend, so enjoy it while you can. Fall is definitely here, it seems. Trip on her center. And he works the magic again. And off up the middle. And off to Natsis. And that's going to do it. <laughs> VR's already, the VR bench is already lining up for the post game handshake. So as the clock ticks down to 3, 2, 1. <laughs> It was a Toromas show in the first half. Rams went up 33 0 in the half. Trojan scored late in the fourth to get some points on the board. So, final score here at Bridgewater Arena Rams 33, Trojan 7. Homecoming next weekend. Some great games going on with all the teams. I'm John Grabowski. Thank you for watching. Will Nicholson alongside me providing some great pictures. Sean Lair back in the nice, warm, dry MCM HQ, running those graphics and in, in, in commercials and whatnot. And also, happy birthday, Laurel Egan Kenny. Happy 25th birthday to you. Signing off, have a great night. MCM coverage of MHS Sports is proudly presented by our silver sponsor, McNamara Financial. When it comes to your money and your financial affairs, let the McNamara family help you. There are four certified financial planner practitioners at McNamara Financial Services. For more information, call 781-834-2010 or visit us at McNamaraFinancial.com.